Giggity! Let's go racing, boys! NASCAR, NASCAR on Fox and Daytona pay tribute to the man in black, Dale Earnhardt, on this, the third lap of the race. Gets it down on the apron without further contact. Jostling further back, but no other collision. There's Harvick's car going to the garage. You know, I'm, Larry and Mike, I'm almost thinking, I, I know there's smoke and, it, and it's probably pretty hard to see, but Trevor Bain is right on him. I think he was afraid to slow down too quickly, afraid that Trevor might turn him around. So I think it was a combination of smoke and then somebody right on his back bumper. Outside him, outside him, right in front of us, man, right in front of us, the blow man, just get down. He pushed. Trouble turn oh, three. Big wreck. Brian Kozlowski, David Rudeman, Michael Mike Walter, Walter Matt Kenseth, big and wreck. half the field. I see about three of the Hendrick cars there that's Mark, involved. Mark Martin is there. I see him. There's a Biffle. Jimmy Johnson's laying over there. There's a 24 car. Looks pretty bad. Brian Vickers limping around. Well, there's not a whole lot to see. Michael just got into the back of the... Tony Stewart did the same thing to Michael in the Bud shootout. Got into him pretty hard and turned him around right there and got Michael with it. And, Daryl, everybody was going to the apron, but those cars sliding off 31 degrees of banking, that's where they're going to end up. It's kind of an old, old saying down here. What goes down must come up. And uh, you try to go around on the outside if you can. Jimmy Johnson's 48 just barely got into the back of Matt Kenseth to do enough damage to the right front. Sure glad they put that safer barrier down along that inside wall there because we've had a lot of people get into it. Hard hit. Travis Quapel is the car behind. And this is the second caution in a row watching from our Fox Exmo extreme slow motion cam where we've had one car trying to help another and instead taking them out of the race. Yeah, that's actually teammates right there. Robert Richardson in the other car that got into the back of him. I think Biffle was trying to go down to get him behind Matt and just mistimed it a little bit clipped him in the right rear and shot him into the outside wall. And again, see all those styrofoam blocks? That's the safer barrier. Man, is that a, that is the greatest thing since innerliners and tires. Top of your screen, here they come off turn four. Well, I think you got to remember something too about that 16 car. It's, it's, it's been wrecked once. And uh, so it's not handling all that great. And Montoya just got into the back of him. And, you know, Larry, one thing, and Mike, these guys have been so complimentary of each other. Oh, it wasn't his fault. Just racing. Look at that yellow car of Kurt Busch. Dive to the inside and escape down pit road, as does Ryan Newman. So much of that has to do with this fresh asphalt. It has a ton of grip. You can turn that car just dead left, straight down pit road. You got me, Trevor. Oh, oh, trouble. Yeah, who's this? Turn car. three. Hey, bud. Into the wall goes Kozlowski. They were three wide getting in there. I was just about ready that there was going to be trouble in turn three, and sure enough. And there's more. Another car involved after. Three wide right here at the line. Can they make it? Four laps to go. of Boyer, the 18 of Kyle Busch, they're blocked. They can't go anywhere right now because they're three wide in front of them. Six times a driver has scored his first sprint. Oh! oh! Smith gets turned in front of Boyer man, and Newman here, and here. Hamlin. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. Caution down now. Wait, wait, wait. That's because Smith got a little bit of a gap between he and the Bush, and Bush slammed into him. Bam. Regan Smith turned in front of Boyer and Newman. Nowhere to go. Kyle Busch got some damage as well. Left front fender. Let's ride through this with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Green flag. Perfect. Good hesitation. Now if they can get hooked up and push. 
And Tony timed it a little better. But can Bobby Labonte get up there to help Tony Stewart, or is he a man alone? He's in no man's land. I just don't know if he can hang out there. But look at the two Bush brothers, Kurt Bush in the 22 and Kyle Bush in the 18, working the high side. I'm hearing they're going, oh, we got a car around. Got a car around right Bobby there. Bobby Gordon saves, saves it. But the, the six is being black flagged. Passing before the uh, start finish line. And now, a now, they got a, now Newman, they got a Newman again. Around. Ryan Newman. Oh hits no, the wall. Junior. Truex and Junior. Oh no, Come and on. here's Truex. Caution is out. Dead gum. Caution is out there, yeah. Watch the six of David Reagan. He is the leader right there on the outside. He must maintain lane position to the start finish line for this to be a legal start. When he changes lanes, he has violated NASCAR procedure and he'll get a black flag. Still with you, still with you. Bye. And coming through the middle, Kurt Busch. Now down to the inside. Bobby Labonte in that 47 gave Trevor Bain a heck of a push. Now all they can do is try to hug the bottom of the racetrack and protect. I like what I'm, I tell you, that 22, though, is coming in a, with a head of steam. And Juan Pablo right on him. Looks like Tony and Mark might have a, I don't know if they got enough time to get back up there or not. I don't think they do. Dale Jr. checked and released at the infield care center. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to the white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to... Where did that 34 come from? Trying to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh, and my they gosh. they spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya, and here they come through turn four. Gilliland, they, former full sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes now Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Trevor Bain is going to win the day for the 500. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I mean, no. if you want to go out in the grass, you can do that too. Mike, he's saying, I think this is how you do it. 